Hey guys, what's up? This is an anime review by me, Jitsu, about Kokoro Connect. Kokoro Connect is about a group of five friends who created the Cultural Research Club, or the CRC, because they didn't fit in with any other clubs, and it's mandatory for every student to join a club at their school. And one day, something weird happens. Two of the members unexplainably switch bodies without warning. Early on in the show, they find out that this is being caused by some kind of mysterious, supernatural being called Heartseed that can take over people's bodies. The body switching is only the first of the CRC's troubles, as Heartseed changes the phenomena that they experience whenever he gets bored of the current one. So, Kokoro Connect starts out really lightheartedly, but as the phenomena begin to drag on for extended periods of time, and the more they change and get more drastic, we get to see the hidden scars that each of the members is harboring. And as you can expect, Kokoro Connect is all about the characters. They're all memorable and likable, and they may seem like they're all stereotypical early on, but Kokoro Connect does a great job of developing each of them into something more. In short, it's 100% about their relationships with each other and the strains put on those relationships by these supernatural phenomena. Kokoro Connect also covers some really serious topics. Each character embodies something that viewers can likely relate to, like lost love, phobias from past traumas, and even identity crisis. So if you can't relate to one character, the odds are good that you'll be able to relate to another. It's not all sadness and gloom though. Kokoro Connect has romance, like real romance, and though there are some serious issues, it sometimes tackles them in that gimmicky, slice of life way you'd expect from the genre, so it stays relatively lighthearted. If I had some kind of strange point system set up, Kokoro Connect would get an extra one for balancing out its genres extremely well. There's a really good amount of romance, and I like that, and the slice of life and comedy is pretty great too. This anime made me laugh more than just a couple of times. Okay, one of the gripes I have with this show, I'm gonna try to put into perspective. So, here we go. This is Taichi Yagashi. This is Yori Nagase. This is Yui Kiriyama. This is Aoki Yoshifumi. And lastly, this is Himiko Inaba. Now, looking at these five again, do you remember all of their names? No? Well, that's too bad, because there is no time to learn who is who before they start switching places, and you'll probably completely lose track of who is in whose body, at least for the first couple of episodes. One more thing is, in classic anime fashion, Kokoro Connect ends earlier than its light novel counterpart, so you may feel like the ending lacks resolution, but it wasn't bad to the point that it should discourage you from watching. Other than that, Kokoro Connect was pretty solid all around, so the answer to would you like Kokoro Connect is yes. It has great characters and a great story that will keep you drawn in. It's one of those series you'll probably end up marathoning and finishing in a day or two and wondering where the time went. Also, if you're anything like me, you'll end up very attached to the characters, and when it's over you'll end up missing them. Thanks for watching this video everyone, I really really appreciate it and thanks to everyone who subscribed. If you want to join the club to catch all of my future videos, you can click that subscribe on the bottom of the screen, and you can check out any of my past videos by clicking on their name on the screen as well. Thanks again everybody, see you soon.